everyone, it's Miranda. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hey, for the first time, subscribe. Become a member of the Slashed Squad. Here I review products you won't feel guilty buying and do looks you can actually recreate at home. Today I'm going to do kind of a short and sweet video. I'm going to be talking about my all-time most used eyeshadow palettes. I get a lot of questions about eyeshadow palettes, especially ones that you can get affordably, but that still offer really good pigmentation and quality for the price. So today I'm talking... I just spit, like, on myself, weirdly. <laughs> so today I'm talking about six palettes that I think are definitely worth the money. Most of them are under $30. There's one that's a little bit over, but uh, you'll see why I still think it's worth the money. So if you want to know my six favorite palettes in my whole collection that are the most used, just keep watching. So the first palette you have seen me talk about before a couple times, this is the Ulta Beauty Matte Neutrals Palette. When I laid my eyes on this baby, I was like, oh my god. I love my matte shadows, as I'm sure you've heard me say plenty of times, and this palette is just full of them, and just such a great range of like the lights to the darks. Um, it does lean a little bit warm when you're moving into the darker shades, but overall this is just such a well-balanced palette. Palette, uh, besides the fact that it's all mattes, of course. I personally think that you can make a whole look of mattes, but you can't make a really a whole cohesive look with shimmers, um, so they're definitely a staple in my collection. I'm actually wearing this palette today because I was practicing my wedding makeup, so yeah, I am actually going to be using this on the big day, and I will be doing a tutorial for you, which will be up in the next couple weeks. But I do have a full review and swatch video of this palette, so I'll link that below and not go too much in depth right now. But yeah, this is the Ulta Beauty store brand which is surprising just because I believe it's about $20 and this palette rivals some mattes that I've gotten in high high-end palettes. I mean there's a reason why I'm trusting it with my wedding makeup and that's because when you put it on it looks great at the end of the day looks like you just put it on. The next palette I have to call out is one that has definitely made an appearance or two on this channel. This is the City Color Boho Chic Palette. This palette is only $9 and you get 10, 10? 12 shades! Oh my gosh the value keeps getting better. This palette's only $10 and you get 12 really gorgeous shades. Now I would say that this palette leans a little bit more smoky and a little bit more fall, um, but I have used it in like festival makeup tutorials and such and I think you do get a really good core selection of neutrals that you can really wear with any look. I have swatches of this on my blog as well which I will link down below, but I will just kind of dip into a few of these. This is the gold shade. I mean you can see how pigmented these are and they're just so soft and blendable and all the shades work really really well together so I really like the um, like the golds and the maroon shades but you also get like this interesting pop of like taupe purpley shades so this is just a really really cool range of shades this dark blue I mean hello I think this is perfect for fall because you do have that deeper mood going on but you do have the pops of bold color and moon child wait I gotta I gotta bring out the other hand for moon child this is like this the most gorgeous champagne-y eggshell color. I just have no bad things to say about this palette besides the fact that there's no mirror inside, but this is one that comes with me traveling quite often. The next palette is an oldie but goodie. This is the Revealed 2 palette from Coastal Scents. This is still a palette that I reach for so often and travel with a lot because it is so thin, but you're getting like a crazy amount of shades in this. 20 shades, and this is like listed at $20, but you can very often get it for 10 on their website with different sales going on. So the Reveal 2 palette was kind of their answer to the Naked 3 palette, I believe, which is like the rosier uh, selection. So obviously you do have a lot of rose golds and kind of marsala shades, but you also have your pops of um, like normal gold and taupes and some neutrals in here as well. I just love how rosy shades look on my complexion personally. The deeper ones are perfect for fall, but you can definitely also carry this color palette into spring as well with the lighter rose gold shades. But yeah, I have like revealed palettes one through three, and then I think they did a couple more after that, but this remains my absolute favorite. And the thing is too, it might be a little intimidating looking at this and being like, wow, that's a lot of pinks and maroons and stuff, but you can get pretty neutral looks out of this as well and it's not as like um, hard to work with as you might think because the palette may seem limiting just like looking at it right away, but you can definitely mix and match this to make 
just normal neutral looks. I mean, you have some like really pale pinks, some champagnes, you have a taupe down here and some browns for the crease. This black is intense. So you've got a lot to play with. My next palette I talked about and did a little bit of a tutorial here on my YouTube channel. This is the CoverGirl True Naked Nudes palette. This is one of my favorite drugstore palettes because the other ones, I wouldn't really consider them drugstore. Ulta Beauty, maybe, but you know, City Color and Coastal Scents, you really can't find those in store anywhere. Um, but as far as like probably the most accessible drugstore, best eyeshadow palette that you can find. This one is one of my faves, totally up there with the best. So this is a small sleek palette. It has eight shades, but don't underestimate it. It is definitely not just your run of the mill drugstore neutrals. This has great pigmentation and some of these metallic shades you can actually apply wet to get that really like mirror like finish. They did do like a golden version of this and a roses version of this, but I felt that the nudes one was still the most versatile. If you you don't have like a go-to neutral palette in your collection right now, this is definitely a great option. As you can see, I mean, it really is just the basics, but the price and the quality, how soft they are, they blend out really easily. Um, I will link again everything I'm talking about today, I've pretty much talked about before either on my channel or my blog. Links will be below. I've done a whole tutorial on this as well. But yeah, you can get a lot from light everyday looks to the smoky, sultry looks with these um, three darkest shades. But when people ask me what is the best drugstore eyeshadow palette that will get me the most bang for my buck, this is definitely the one that I answer nine out of ten times. It's just one of those that you know you're going to use. You get a lot of use out of it. And depending on your hair color, you can also use a couple of these shades for your brows as well because the mattes tend to be the more neutral shades. So there is um, definitely double use to this. My next palette, we are moving into that little higher end range and this is the Man Eater palette by Tarte. I don't know if this was limited edition and now I'm regretting not checking before filming, but this was available at Ulta Beauty for $29 and you do get eight shades and the pans are pretty large. So even though you're only getting eight colors, um, you're gonna get a lot of use out of this. And I've gotten a lot of use out of this. I don't know if you can tell just by looking inside. Again, you have a lot of neutrals in here, but you have kind of a rosy feel with these hypnotic shades, which is kind of like a brownish mauve, and then purr is kind of like a muted um, pink as well. Um, but we also have Foxy, which is like a champagne gold shade, which you can see here. We've got Midnight, which is one of my perfect um, crease colors. This is one that I actually um, have taken with me on a lot of vacations because you do get the full size mirror inside and it's so sleek but you have enough in here where you can definitely you know get a dramatic eye or you can just keep it natural. I really enjoy the Tarte eyeshadow formula. This is the um, Amazonian clay formula so you get a lot of pigmentation and it lasts a very long time. You don't get it settling into your creases or fading or whatnot. In fact I almost had like a learning curve when I first got this because I kind of jammed my brush into it and jammed it on my face and I was like whoa that's a lot of color that was way more than I was expecting so um, that's why I think this is definitely worth it especially if you want to work in some more um, fancy products in your collection this is a more affordable way to do that last but not least we have a classic palette from Too Faced this is the natural eyes palette now they have a matte version of this palette this is the original which I feel like is a little bit more versatile because you do get those couple of shimmer shades. This palette is $36, so this is the most expensive that I'm talking about today, uh, but compared to the other Too Faced palettes, like the more full-size ones, obviously you're going to be saving money while still getting some core shades in your collection. Too Faced is probably one of my favorite high-end brand eyeshadow formulas. Too Faced made my very first um, eyeshadow palette that I ever bought. Actually, my best friend bought it for me in junior year of high school. It was like this big um, gift set with eyeshadows and there was a chocolate soleil in there. So uh, Too Faced shadows hold a very special place in my heart, but they're so smooth, buttery, and pigmented. And one thing that I really like about Too Faced is that like the shadows just do what you want them to do. You don't really need to work hard to get them to look good. So the Natural Eyes palette is again just a great staple palette for traveling. You do get the uh, mirror inside and the fact that this is um, a tin palette instead of like cardboard like most of the other ones that I showed you uh, that makes me a lot more comfortable traveling with it because if it gets rattled around a little bit in fact I dropped it like two seconds ago um, I don't have to worry about the shadows like shattering or the 
packaging, getting bent or whatever. This is like my ride or die. So as you can see, we do get a lot of core neutral shades in this palette, but they mostly lean cool. The only one that's like more warm is Chocolate Martini, but everything else is very cool. So if you're looking for warmer neutrals, I would suggest the Tarte Man Eater palette or the Ulta Beauty Matte Neutrals palette. This is definitely going to be, um, for me personally, like more of like a winter palette, which is where I start to kind of step away from the warm shades. Uh, but yeah, you still get a lot to work with here. You have these beautiful mattes, which are Nudie, Heaven, Sexpresso, uh, and Cashmere Bunny, which can be used as the crease, the highlight, the transition shade. But then you have these really gorgeous um, satin shades. Like Honey Pot's one of my favorite golds ever because it's not like a yellow gold. It's definitely more light. Push Up is this great satin mauve taupey shade. Silk Teddy is just a classic pinky silver highlight. And Chocolate Martini is really interesting. And the only reason it leans warm is because it has that gold shimmer in it, but it is more of like a cool brown base. So like I said, cooler neutrals. And this palette has lasted me years, probably like three to four years. And I feel like I haven't even put a dent in a lot of these shades. So yeah, this will forever be one of my all-time favorite eyeshadow palettes. So those are my most used eyeshadow palettes in my collection. I hope that maybe you saw something that you'll go ahead and pick up for yourself, add some love to your collection. Like I said, my next video will probably be my wedding makeup video, just give or take a week. Um, there is probably gonna be a week that I take off because of my wedding. I'm getting married and I'm so excited and it's coming up so fast. But I will probably take a weekend off from video creation just to kind of like give myself a breather because I still have a lot of little things that I have to take care of and I'm thanking you in advance for understanding. If you like this video and you like checking out kind of my favorites in my stash, hit the thumbs up button and let me know if you want me to make more stash favorites and of what product in the comments. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, become a member of the Slashed Squad. I make new videos every Saturday and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!